There's two ways that God reveals himself in the world, uh, general revelation and special revelation. General revelation is, as the Bible says, that the heavens declare the glory of God. Um, that you can't help but look around and say, there's got to be a designer here. There's got to be a God here. Uh, this is how remote tribes, for instance, can come to faith in Christ. They just look around and say, there's got to be something here. Now, special revelation is, is, is Jesus himself being revealed through the scriptures, someone teaching uh, somebody the scriptures and the gospel. Um, and God uses both. I think he uses general revelation to stir in man's heart the sort of quest for, there's something more out there. And then he searches that and God brings to him a missionary or a pastor or, or a gospel film or a website that explains and breaks down the scriptures. Um, and it says in Romans, how shall they hear without a preacher? You know, we can't all just sit back and say, well, they're going to see in nature. It's up to us to take that to the ends of the earth and share it. But God uses both. And at the end of time, no man's going to be without excuse. You say, well, what about all those that are heathen in, in other countries? Well, um, their heart should have been stirred by, by, by the revelation of God in, in nature and in and general revelation, and if they were earnest in seeking that out, God would have found them to a place where they can hear the truth.